Hi, my name is Paul and this video is for official channel and free trading terminal Cscalp. I'm here to show you what Cscalp is, how to download this terminal and launch it, how to connect to the market using our trading terminal and we will use as an example Binance market. Because Binance has the lowest commission among other markets. Well now we are on the main website of the Cscalp terminal fsrdevelop.com and what about this terminal? Cscalp is the professional trading terminal especially for intraday trading. For example, if you trade using long-term position strategy of trading, you can trade from the website of the market. But if you trade by scalping strategy, you will definitely need the terminal. The really good thing I want to tell that this terminal is completely free and you don't have to pay for it. Okay, now if you want to get it for free, just put your mail here. and click on get for free and then you will receive launcher and the free license for Cscalp on your email go to your email and check around the inbox and you can see the launcher Cscalp here and the license just click on download the license and the launcher after the downloading, if something goes wrong, just then press save, save anyway. The, this program is totally safe. And then you received FSR launcher install and the second file is the license. When license for Cscalp, we need to install the FSR launcher. Choose your language, follow the instructions, next, next, ok, next, create the desktop icon, install, alright. Also, this license can work on the three PC devices, due to it you can use Cscalp on other PCs, and if you lose launch FSR, FSR launcher if you lose your letter with the key and the terminal don't worry go to the website and rewrite your real email again and here we are this is the main the main interface of FSR launcher alright guys here on the main menu of the FSR launcher we can see on the left side Cscalp the terminal provides access for the cryptocurrency exchange markets such as Binance Binance Futures, BitMix, BitPhoenix and also Moscow Exchange through the brokers such as Quick, Finam, ITI Capital and provides access to the demo account. Next to the Cscalp you can notice Privot Bonder. It's alternative of the Cscalp terminal but only for proprietary traders. It's used only for prop trading companies. It provides access to the Moscow Exchange markets which you can see on the list below. Next to private bonder on the right side you can see the news from developers blog post where they will post news. Links of the articles of developers blogs, links of the instructions and the performances of professional traders with the discussion of the interest in market situation. Look at the bottom and here you can click on the support where you can ask the support service in case of the errors and problems. Here also is the link of official YouTube channel Cscalp TV. And if you have Telegram chat, here is the link for Telegram chat where you can communicate with other traders. And also forum and help where you can find some instructions of using Cscalp. For example, how to connect to the Binance, etc. And here is the most important tool where you can get 20% discount, discount using referral ID. Okay guys, and now if you want to open Cscalp, just click on the Cscalp icon. Well, now the terminal demands the license. We got to find the license file and uh, then click on it. Click on open. And after the verifying the application will be opened and uh, here is the pin code option and pin code option is totally up to you you can skip it or you can set it up i'm choosing skip 
And the first launch in will connect us to the open rates of the Binance, Bitfinex and Bitmix. Don't forget Binance and Binance Futures are different platforms, but API keys will be both for them. They will be connected to the spot Binance market and the futures Binance market. And well, our Syscall terminal is open. But before the trade starts, we need to create API keys and open your margin wallet and futures wallet. Go to the Binance.com and if you are not registered, you would be better to sign up. Click on the wallet, choose margin wallet. Then click on open margin account. Alright, margin is the type of trading when you are using the borrowed, skip for now. Skip for now. Skip it. Oh, sorry. Uh, margin is the type of the trading when you are using the borrow assets. This type of trading provides an ability to trade more amount of assets than you already have deposited. For example, you deposited five dollars, and due to the leverage, leverage is written here three x. Due to the leverage, you will have the ability to make operations with the triple amount of your initial capital. Here you can see coins you can to trade. And that means you can increase your profit a lot. But as any type of leverage trading, it has some potential risks that you shouldn't be omitting. Alright, and then you got to create your futures, you got to create your futures wallet. Just the same thing as for, for the margin account. You're gonna click on the open now, yeah, open now. And when you're gonna to trade, don't forget to transfer your funds to the margin account and futures account if you're going to trade futures or margin. All right, now we have to create our API keys, then go to the API, API management here, and it asks you for the name for your API and click on the two create API keys. After that, you got to enable options to trade margin, futures and trading. Without it, you will not be able to do this type of trading. It goes like this, edit restrictions, enable trading, enable future and enable margin. And then click on the save. Alright, copy these keys. Copy these keys and then go to the connection settings and paste your API and API secret. API key, first one is done. The second one, API secret here. Passed. Okay. Be careful with the option view market only. If you don't turn it off, you will not be able to trade. Then switch it to no. Out connect yes. Save password, yes. Wallet type. Um, choose your wallet type of trading. I'm repeating that um, margin type of trading provides you operations with leverage and exchange. An exchange type of trade type of trading will provide you buying operations, selling operations, and also holding coins here. I choose, I'm choosing, for example, the margin type of trading and base exchange currency set it set up as USDT and it's the currency you go to trade for example now and for example you borrowed USDT on Binance and you're going to trade BTC USDT pair okay for this is done then go to the setup Binance futures account Futures account provides us to trade in with a large leverage with base exchange currency USDT. You can read about it more in the Binance glossary. Alright, then copy the same thing as we did before. Copy API key here. An API secret. Here, save password. Yes, and auto connect. Yes, and okay. 
then we should disconnect bit phoenix and bitmix if everything is okay there will be a green light next to the disconnect buttons okay let's close it all right if you want to delete all the markers just press the cross button here press the cross button and later you will see nothing okay all right we did it move into the right corner and you will notice the plus button below the exit button click on it after that the dashboard named tab1 has popped up consisting of two elements such as a plus and rename after add market view clicking on plus button you see add market view plus button will add you more markets market views and the cross button will reduce it all right now we have two panels with nothing let's add the trading pair for the first one for example btc usdt on margin market let's try to find btc usdt btc usdt all right and for the second one also btc usdt but on the futures market BTC USDT. All right, but the majority of users faces with the problem of building up the orders book. Plus and minus button near the near the numbers on your keyboard will give you a possibility to regulate the size of orders book. For example, here you got it. The minus the plus button. Okay, the green light is the price of buying here, and the red light is, in orders book is the price of selling. If you're going to place the buying order, do the left click of the mouse, and the press, yeah, and the press space on your keyboard to take it away. If you're going to place the selling order, do the right click here, like that on the red light and the press space to take it away. If you need to set up your vol volume and the style of orders book, you need to move to the settings, order book category, and you can see the options that have orders book category in settings here. All right. Then also we can see here the clusters here. Yeah, they are situated next to the ticks. Ticks are there. The ticks are visualized of selling and buying operations. In orders book setting, you can regulate the size of ticks, period, amount, and weight. For example, here. Here are the options. Yeah, uh, let's go back to the clusters. The clusters are the volume of selling and buying which has operated in a in at the time and price period if we see the green light here if we see the green light that means that the five minute time frame amount of buyers was bigger than amount of sellers in other case for example in 1945 to 1115 in other case if we see the red light it means that amount of sellers are bigger than amount of buyers and also we can see chart here look at the chart i'm open the chart is shown up yeah the chart is shown up and here we can monitor of chart and also draw the lines which is very useful in trading for example i try to draw draw the level um, here for example level of support and level of resistance the local level of resistance yeah here it's very useful and comfortable to watch and also for example this section the local trend line for example like 
here. And we also have here a rectangle. For example, if the line of the support breaks, we can fix stop losses here. The options are up to you totally. And also we can regulate the time frame of the chart. 15 minutes time frame, 13 minutes time frame, 1 hour time frame, and it listed below. Alright, let's close the chart. And let me give you a piece of advice. Uh, here, right here, we can see near the volume, we can see the pink monitor. And this is for knowing how fast our orders are placed in an orders book. If the pin is high, it means that servers are servers are overloaded and your orders will be placed a little bit slow. It's very important, especially for the scalping strategy. Okay. Frequently mistakes in you using the C-scalp. Make sure that you have transferred your funds to the futures account. In other case, to the margin account. You have to do it in your Binance account. If something doesn't work, just make sure your API keys restriction are in the right status. Right status for the futures, for example, the most important thing that that is the turning on futures trading, enable futures trading. I mean, for the Binance spot trading, check out it again. Did you choose the right exchange or not? Here. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna end this video and yeah guys if you like this video and the information is new and useful for you don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you have any questions just write it down to comments developers regularly reply on comments if you got any questions you can contact support team by opening the official website and clicking to the dialog icon here. They can they can reply you on Facebook, Telegram and Viber. Right. If you use Telegram, we'll be pleased to see you in our Telegram community. There there are many charts and channels on different languages. Alright. Happy profits guys. Goodbye.